Welcome or welcome back at C squared. In this video clip, we're going to take a look how to grab a guiding function using tables. So, over here we have a two logarithmic uh, function. We're going to look to number 19, log in base 2 of x. We, we need to grab that uh, logarithmic function. And you have uh, two ways. The first one is basically doing what we used to do, pick the axis. So let's say we're going to take x equal uh, 0. Right. There is a problem here because we end up with log, y equal log in base 2 or 0, which is undefined. The first one probably you want to use is 1. Because log in base 2 of 1, it's 0. Then I'm going to go to 2, because log in base 2, so again, x equals 2, because log, uh, log in base 2 of 2 is 1. And if you go to 3, that is going to be a problem, right? x equals 3, you have y equal log in base 2 of 3, and then it's not nice. So I'm going to go to 4, because that one works fine. x equals 4, and I have y equal log in base 2 of 4, and that is 2. And I don't know if you notice now, but here down, uh, for y, we have a nice number, right? We have 0, 1, 2, which tells me is a different way to graph, to uh, find the, uh, to create a table, okay? Uh, which I will show you, and I think it, it works better and faster. So look at here what I meant. Okay, so again, we have the table, x and y. My suggestion is to put 0, 1, 2, eventual 3 if you want, down and 4y, and then you have to evaluate this exponential. 2 to the 0 power, 1, 2 to the 1st power, 2, 2 to the 2nd power, 4, 2 to the 3rd power, 8. This is a lot easier to create the table. Now, if I put here negative 1, what do I get? 2 to the negative 1 power, which is 1 half. If I put negative 2, I'm going to get one fourth. So basically now I have enough information to graph the function, which is on the next picture, is right here. Yeah, this is y equals log in base to log x. And you see the points, right? 1 and 0, 2 and 1. You don't see 4 and 2. But then we can see here 1 half and negative 1, 1 fourth. And uh, negative 2. So I think it's a lot easier. Now, what you see here is y equals 2 to the x. I put this here to see that these two functions are inverse function. And we can see uh, the third one here, y equals x, and we can see that reflection. Yes, the log and exponential are inverse function. So I use the exponential to graph the log, sometimes it's easier. So go ahead and try number 20 now. So you see the table on the right, again I use the exponential to figure out the x, right? 3 to the negative 2 power, 1, 9, 3 to the negative 1 power, 1 third, and so on. And then you see the graph of y equal log in base 3 of x. And the red one is y equals 3 to the x. And again you can see they are inverse function. They are reflection over y equals x. 
What about something like this? The same idea. So you see, I start with the y's and then I'm going to use the exponentials. One half, one half to the negative two power. That will be 2 over 1 to the positive 2 power, which is 4. 1 half to the negative 1 power, that will be 2. 1 half to the 0 power, 1. 1 half to the first power, 1 half. 1 half to the second power, 1 fourth. 1 half to the third power, 1 eighth. So we have enough information to do the picture, which is right here. Right? This is a graph here, this is a green graph here. Is log in base one half of x. What about the red one? The red one is one half to the x bar. Yeah. In case of it. And you see again they are inverse function, we can see it graphically also. Pause this video clip and try number 22. If you have that table and this uh, uh, this graph here, or the green one, right? Then you did a wonderful job. This is log in base one third of x, and this one is y equals one over three to the x power the exponential function. Right? Again, inverse function. We can see that also in the picture. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button down right and come back on C squared for more math video clips. Thank you.